shit. What's going on, everybody? Um, just got off work. I got to fuel the car up and shit. But I wanted to talk about something that actually perked my interest. There isn't much boxing going on right now. November is kind of a slow month. Like I said, I really don't give a damn about the Shakur Stevenson fight. Then it starts picking up at the end of November with Benavidez and Andre, and you know, then a couple of weeks you got Sonny Edwards and, and and Bam and Regis Haney and and Oe Tapalis. It starts picking up at the end of November, right? And we had a pretty pretty stacked December, with all things considered. And then going into the next year, hopefully we'll have fucking Uzik Fury finally. But something piqued my interest that uh, I was reading. Um, Pacquiao called out Gervonta Davis, Manny Pacquiao, one of the greatest fighters of all time, right? Um, you know, he actually called for Floyd. You know, Pacquiao has been persistent in chasing that Floyd Mayweather rematch since the first fight happened, bro, okay? And Floyd Mayweather, being the coward that he is, never had the fucking heart of the balls to give Pacquiao a rematch. Instead, he cherry-picked Andre Berto and Conor McGregor. And again, the talks for the rematch, and, and this is, you know, and I can make a thousand, you know, I've made a thousand videos on this between this channel and the old channel. Floyd ducked Pacquiao for the better part of six, seven years, bro. Right, wait, and then he got knocked out by Marquez, and then Floyd aged him out. And I, was, I, know, I know what the fucking casuals are gonna say. Oh, well, Floyd's older than Pacquiao. How could he age him out? It's not the age, it's the mileage, bro, okay? Now, think about it. Now, so I actually, and I understand Pacquiao's retired, <coughs> and um, I understand that Pacquiao's retired. I get that. I would prefer him to stay, remain retired, okay? With that said, even a 44, because we all know Pacquiao would have fucking destroyed Gervonta in his prime. I mean, that's not even a, that's not even a question. Uh, a prime Manny Pacquiao from anywhere from 130 to 140 pounds, that like 2005, 6, 7, 8, pa he fucking destroys Tank Davidson in a handful of rounds. That's not even a debate. All right. So, this brings us up to the present day. Pacquiao is persisting, again, that he fights Floyd Mayweather again. Floyd obviously has no interest in doing that because Pacquiao's his daddy, his Filipino daddy that he's been scared of for many, many years. So Pacquiao said, okay, you don't want to give me a rematch, you fucking pussy. I'll go after your fucking gay little nephew, Gervonta Davis. I'll go, go after your cross-dressing, purse-carrying woman beating piece of shit pregnant woman running over piece of shit fucking scumbag of a nephew of yours all right and i'm gonna be honest with you if it's not if it's at 140 or 147 pounds because i think pacquiao trying to cut down to 135 at this particular point in time would be a little much but if they were to fight at 140 right now even at 45 years old i genuinely think pacquiao still might be able to take him now again i'm gonna i'm gonna push this point home my preference is that pacquiao can stay uh, stays retired you know he is in his mid 40s bro it's time to hang it up but i'm gonna say this right now if a 45 year old pacquiao came out of retirement and beat the shit out of Gervonta Davis and took his O you genuinely might be talking about the best fighter of all time bro he, like if he did that like I say I think Pacquiao is, is already in that realm with I'm not putting him above these guys, but he's in that same realm with the Ray Leonard's, the Roberto Durans, the Ali's, and the Ray Robinsons, and the, you know, I don't, I, but not quite that high, but he's, you know, right there, right? 
If he were to come out of retirement and 45 years old and fucking pull that off, he's comparable to any of them. To If he's not already. You understand? How the fuck... Would that be a perfect ending to Pacquiao's fucking career? If he came out of retirement at 45 years old, kicked the shit out of Floyd's gay nephew, and finally called it a day. I'm going to tell you right now, like I say, and again, not to repeat myself, my preference is Pacquiao stays retired. But that being said, if he comes out of retirement to fight Gervonta, you know who you know you know what we're going to be talking about. You know what Johnny Boy is going to be talking about, and I'm going to tell you something else. He's got a shot. He's got a good shot. Gervonta is not Floyd. Gervonta ain't fucking Crawford. He's not Eric Morales, bro. He's not Juan Manuel Marquez. He's none of those guys. Gervonta is not a great fighter. He's been he's a good, very good fighter, but he's been but he's also a coward and he's been babysitted his whole career. You know, Gervonta doesn't even have the balls to fight Tiafimo or Shakur or Lomachenko. Right? We we've learned this over time. But I would love to see Gervonta thinking that Pacquiao is all okay, I might be able to take this guy. He's he's been retired a while now. Pacquiao comes out of retirement, beats the fuck out of him, and then calls it a day, and, and it just backfires on the money team. On it backfires on Gervonta, it backfires on Floyd Mayweather, because I something tells me that Floyd, you know, Floyd obviously would never give Pacquiao a rematch, because like I say, even when they were in deep talks, deep discussions of having a rematch, the whole thing was beat Keith Thurman. And then we'll, and then we'll, you know, we'll talk about it, right? We'll, we'll, we'll negotiate it. And we all know what happened there. And Pacquiao beat the shit out of Keith Thurman at 40 years old, became the oldest welterweight champion in boxing history. And then, um, and Floyd ran out of the fucking arena when they were trying to set up the rematch with him and him and Pacquiao. After after Floyd was ringside and saw what Pacquiao did to Thurman, he ran out of the fucking crowd. So we obviously know that Floyd doesn't have the balls to face Pacquiao. But something tells me that he would send his little crash dummy, Gervonta Davis, out there to try and beat Pacquiao and try to put a nail in the coffin of Pacquiao's career. And for some reason, maybe it's the man upstairs, maybe it's my gut, maybe it's my balls, maybe it's my head and my heart. Couldn't tell you where it comes from, but something tells me, bro, that Pacquiao has a great, even at 45 years old, has a fucking tremendous shot at beating Gervonta, all right? And the reason I'm saying that is, you know, Ugas is a five foot ten motherfucker. He's a big dude, all right? Even Eric Morales was a bigger guy than Gervonta. He's a little dude, bro. When's the last time Pacquiao fought somebody that was eye level with him? It's been a long time, bro. And I, I again, I really wish Pacquiao to stay retired. But if he were to come out, I think that would be a good fight for him. And I think he could still, even way past his prime, still give Gervonta a good run for his money, if not possibly beat him. All right. Anyways, that, that perked my interest a little bit. I felt like talking about it. I felt like sharing it with you guys. So please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe on your way out the door. And I will be in touch. God bless the Filipinos out there. God bless Manny Pacquiao. Fuck Gervonta. Fuck Floyd. Fuck the money team. Fuck Leonard Ellerby. Fuck Steven Espinosa. And fuck that whole crew. With that being said, please like and subscribe if you feel like donating to the channel. The cash app is floating around in my comment sections. You guys will be able to find it. And uh, God bless you all. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Take care now. Salute.